Fluids is one of my favorite subjects in physics, one of my 15 uh, five most favorite subjects in, in physics. It's an area that I do a lot of research in. I did my PhD at Stanford on, on convection in liquid helium-3 helium-4 mixtures. Lots of interesting things to talk about. Bernoulli's uh, equation you might have heard about in, in earlier science classes, Archimedes' principle, a variation of pressure with, with depth in a fluid, etc. So first, a demonstration of um, mass density showing the difference in density between Diet Pepsi and regular Pepsi. I've got here a can of regular Pepsi, can of Diet Pepsi, silver colored. And if you, uh, both of them are 12 fluid ounces, but apparently the densities of these two liquids are slightly different. If you put the uh, regular Pepsi, it sinks in water, meaning that its net density, including the can and all the water, the mass per unit volume of the can of Pepsi is greater than the density of water, therefore it sinks. The diet Pepsi, on the other hand, floats. Uh, so its density must be slightly less than the standard Pepsi. We can, uh, given the slight difference between these two densities, we can increase the density of the, the mass density of the water by adding some salt and stirring it in. So this will increase the mass density of this water. And having increased the density of the water, this one still will float and this one also floats. So by, just by adding salt, we can, we can increase the density of water enough to make both of these guys float. In some of your uh, classes, you might have seen this definition before, mass density. It's a mass um, measured in kilograms per unit volume measured in cubic meters sometimes measured in uh, grams per cubic centimeter, uh, but you could easily convert kilograms to grams, meters to centimeters to get the, the difference. Um, some typical densities, metals and solids are in the thousands of kilograms per cubic meter. Uh, water is exactly a thousand kilograms per cubic meter or one gram per cubic centimeter. So the difference between grams per cubic centimeters and kilograms per cubic meters uh, per cubic meter is a factor of a thousand. This is a demonstration of, a, of an aerogel, one of the lightest solid substances known. Water has a density of about one gram per cubic centimeter. Aerogel has a density of 0 0.00016 grams per cubic centimeter. It's about 95% air, yet it's quite rigid. And you might be able to hear it when I drop it on the tabletop. Um, and it's, it's quite transparent. This material was used to insulate the Mars exploration rovers used by NASA on that uh, spacecraft. Very good insulator, very low density. And here's a demonstration of uh, the result of mixing two liquids of different mass densities together. Very fascinating uh, video. This is a bottle with two different clear liquids in it. 
one that's above these white beads and one that's below the blue beads. The white beads have a slightly lower density than the blue beads and the liquid that's on the top has a lower density than the liquid on the bottom, mass density we're talking about here. So in terms of mass density, the lowest is the liquid on the top, the next lowest is the white beads themselves, then the, then the next is the blue, and then the next is this uh, liquid on the bottom. The highest density liquid will, will always seek the lowest spot and that will low, low, give the lowest possible gravitational potential energy of the system. So what I'm going to do now is to shake this bottle up, mix the two liquids, and ask you to predict what's going to happen when I mix these up. You can pause, you can think, uh, but let me go ahead with the uh, with mixing process. White beads have accumulated on the top, the blue on the very bottom. And now as you can see, they're slowly moving together. And the question is why? It's a really cool demo, I like it. What's happening here? When I mixed the two liquids, they became a new liquid whose density is halfway between the two original densities. And that density of that new mixed liquid happened to be right between the density of the white beads and the density of the blue beads. So we saw the liquid accumulate in the center of the bottle, the white beads on the top, the blue beads on the bottom. And then as the, as the liquid said, hey, I don't want to be mixed, I want this lighter liquid, the lower density liquid to be on the top and the higher density to be on the bottom, as they then separated, then the, the whole system achieved its uh, original configuration. So let's do an example. The body of a man whose weight is 690 newtons contains about this volume of blood. Find the blood's weight and express it as a percentage of the body weight. The uh, density of blood is about 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter, about that of water, a little bit heavier because it has some other materials in it. And the mass, or the mass density, is mass per unit volume. So if we want the mass, which is what we're looking for, we can multiply both sides by the volume and get that um, the mass is the volume times the density. Volume we're given to be 5.2 times 10 to the minus 3 cubic meters. The density we're given, the cubic meters cancel and we get about 5.5 kilograms of, uh, of blood in the body. So the weight of that 5.5 kilograms uh, can be found by multiplying by the, the mass times the acceleration of gravity 54 newtons uh, versus 690 newtons for the, the weight of the whole body. It's about 8% of the body weight.